So if we think about an ecosystem and we think <coughs> about the, uh, how an ecosystem changes, well, we could think, well, in summer, an ecosystem is quite warm. In, in winter, it's cold. When it rains, it's wet. Uh, when it's not raining, it's dry. So I can see that it changes all the time on a relatively short scale. But then if we think about, well, the trees will grow over time. The trees will, will grow and, and maybe more organisms will live in the trees and so they, those organisms might change. What we're thinking about there is something called ecological succession. So this is the gradual change in an ecosystem over time. And there's two types. Primary succession is when an, an ecosystem forms from you know, non-completely bare rock. So after a volcano has come through and maybe wiped out an area and left just bare rock, primary succession would be what would happen there. Um, so you would slowly get some mosses and then they would form some soil and then some small trees would come in and then slowly an ecosystem would, you know, would form. Um, and secondary succession is what you would find more often. That's after a really significant um, you know, catastrophic event in an ecosystem. I've got an example of, of that right here. So I've got an example of secondary succession here. So here I've got um, an ecosystem. I've got actually what's called a climax community, kind of the ultimate, um, the ultimate end point of succession. But then a fire comes through and basically and wipes, wipes out all of the living things but really just leaves some soil. So secondary succession is when soil is left over. Um, so there is still kind of a, a foundation for living things to start. So I've just got some soil. Secondary succession is starting, and that starts with you know some small little grasses here, very small uh, trees. That ends up becoming you know, other smaller trees and bushes come in, uh, overshadowing these grasses. And then larger trees start to grow and then they overshadow the bushes and you know maybe some of the grasses too. And then eventually the really tall trees come back and, and of course with those tall trees come back all the other organisms that live in them. And we've come back to what's called our climax community. So the ultimate end point of succession is this really rich, really biodiverse ecosystem with lots of mature organisms and, you know, and a vast array of living things. And that's ecological succession, that gradual change in eco ecosystems over time.